Hi there, James Moffat reporting from Movie World on the Gold Coast for the Nissan GT Academy Finals, where 20 of Australia's best online racers are competing for their chance to head to the Silverstone in the UK and win a Nissan racing contract. And I've got to say, currently being out of contract myself, I'm a bit nervous because my replacement might be among us today. I've got Luke Jones with me who uh, was a contestant last year, uh, but you're back again for more this year, Luke. I am. I am certainly back again. Couldn't get enough. It's a uh, quite an awesome opportunity that uh, Nissan and Sony PlayStation is offering here. It's once in a lifetime opportunity. Now, Corey, I've been uh, having a bit of a look around, and it seems like uh, there's some different tactics. Some guys opting for shoes, and some guys opting for no shoes. You've got your shoes on at the moment. Are you a shoes on or shoes off type of guy? Uh, definitely shoes on kind of guy. Um, you don't uh, j jump in a V8 supercar or a real race car and um, take your shoes off before you get in. Corey's spot on the money there. Wouldn't get through scrutineering without race boots. I'm, I'm here with Nissan Nismo Insider host Alicia Kelly, looking absolutely thrilled to be here. What is actually your role here, Alicia? I'm just doing caricatures of the guys while they're racing. I like to draw. I want to know, are you a shoes or no shoes man? It is all about the shoes. Um, I'm a no shoes man. Ooh. Yeah, I think um, definitely gives you the edge. I'm here with Josh Muggleton who we spoke to last year at the GT Academy Finals for Australia. Josh went so close to winning the overall GT Academy. This year he's back as a bit of a mentor to some of the guys. Josh, what do you think so far? Um, who do you think is a favourite? Oh, it's too early to tell, mate. Um, everyone's just getting a feel for it at the moment, so working their way into it. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on them at the moment, so we'll see what comes over the next couple of days. Now, Kenny, uh, just give us a bit of a background on uh, your journey to this stage of the competition. Um, well, I started playing Grand Turismo with the steering wheel when I was about 12, so I kept doing it for years until I was old enough. and. Yeah, this year I'm finally made it, so stoked. Rick Kelly, one of the co-owners of Nissan Motorsport. We both know that I'm out of contract, Rico. Should I be worried? Uh, I've seen these guys, mate. Maybe, maybe you should. They're pretty fast. No, not at all. It's good to see, though, a manufacturer get behind talent in, in a different way. You and I both know how difficult it is to get into into racing, and for these guys to pave a way um, is pretty is pretty cool. Casey, how have you found uh, the GT Academy final so far? Uh, a lot of pressure, to be honest. Uh, I haven't played a lot. I scraped through today in fourth, so just trying to make the most of it so far. Oh, fantastic. Now, we see this fancy drink bottle you've got. Red stuff. Australian sport has been in broiled in supplement sagas over the last two to three years. Definitely. If we get that stuff tested, is it going to be clear? 100%. I actually work for a supplement shop and I'm um, just aminos and hydration in this oh, one. Fantastic. Uh, if, if anybody's got to know, then uh, hopefully it's you. I uh, found the great man Mitchell Wiley, the magnificent motorsport manager for Nissan Australia. Mitch, we're here, movie world on the Gold Coast, the sun shining, GD Academy finals, it can't get much better. No, it cannot. I mean, this is unreal. I mean, last year we were really happy with Phillip Island and having Sony involved, and this year Warner Brothers Movie World got involved. We've had Batman play The Sims. I mean, it couldn't be better. We're really happy. And we've got some pretty quick guys here. We've got some lunatics as well, so I'm just hoping no one fences one of the Zeds tomorrow in the arena. Well, there we go. The motorsport manager doesn't want any shunts tomorrow. So far, a great show. All the contestants look uh, very sharp, and I think we're in for a good competition.